The last kind of figurative language that we'll be learning today is onomatopoeia. Now that is a very, very long word and kind of hard to say. So let's break it apart into chunks and practice saying it. Ano, mato, pia. Ano, mato, pia. Ano, mato, pia. Anto, onomatopoeia. Now this is a word that sounds like the noise it makes. So maybe your dog is running around and you hear a crash. The word crash is onomatopoeia. It is a sound word. So let's go ahead and add that to our chart. Onomatopoeia is a word that makes, actually that represents a sound. We'll write a couple of examples below. An example might be crash, boom, um, some other one we hear, splash. All of those are sound words. Onomatopoeia. So these words are used to represent sounds. Now for this one, we are going to have a list of onomatopoeia words on this side, and then we're gonna write what they might be representing on the other side. So boom, what kind of things might go boom? Maybe there's a car crash. That could represent a lot of things. What about the sound of someone jumping in a puddle? Maybe splash splash. Those are onomatopoeia words. Or we might use zoom to show that a car is going by really fast. See how they have meaning behind the words? For our practice with onomatopoeia words today, we will be filling in the blanks to the following sentences. I'll do the first couple with you and then you will have to choose the onomatopoeia words that will fit best into the following sentences. Let's go ahead and begin. The popcorn went blank in the microwave. Well, popcorn pops. And right now, pop. The car blanked quickly around the corner. See, quack, chattered, knocked, fluttered, zoomed. The car zoomed quickly around the corner. Do two more with you. And they will only be one, so we can cross them out. The students were blank in the classroom. Sizzling, meowing, barking, clapping. I sure hope they weren't barking. Probably chattering, chattering. And finally, the delivery man blank on our front door. Siddled, screeched, Quacked, knocked, fluttered, clapped, barked, knocked. Fits here best. Once you are finished with all of um, these filling in the onomatopoeia words, then you can move on to the next section for today.